kecewa ya mam. Ah, oh, ah, watch my legs. Sorry. Oh dear. Right. Right. Uh, okay. So I'm in the hospital and today's the day. Just got to go and have my PCR test and then I'm going to the ward. So exciting stuff. Um. What's that? So I've had my all of my tests done and everything has gone fine and I've seen the anaesthetist and the consultant and everybody and I'm about to give, be given my gown and be fetched to go and have my operation so it could be easily four or five hours before I'm out and competent be able to let anybody know. It's a very brief video, just wanted to say I'm out <laughs> and I've been told that it's all been a success. time to go through and I can hear it in the room. Whoop. Whoop. As it goes in. Oh, I'm really enjoying it. Today I have had a decaf cup of coffee, a cup of tea, both to sweeten it in, and a little bit of milk. I've had orange cordial, water, two cups of like a cup of soup style chicken soup. Got my second one to finish here for my tea. Mm. I've got a pot of sugar free jelly which I'm going to suck. And, um, So I'm on a side ward with four people um, in Derby Hospital. It's it's a really nice hospital, um, really supportive, good staff. It's it's actually the best hospital that I've ever used, um, and 
overwhelming this experience has been really good. So the surgeon has picked up that in my lower abdomen on my left side there is a hernia. Um, but he decided to leave it as it was because I didn't know it was there. And he said if, if they are to do anything it will be in two or three years. Um, which I think he's basing that upon my recovery um, and weight loss. And that wall here, I've got a wet room and shower, which we share on this ward of four beds. Um, there's some windows over here. Um, and there's some greenery and a little garden outside, which is nice. I've got like an air bag compressor on my legs. So at the moment this one is inflated. Yeah, it's actually really nice. It's um, it's quite therapeutic. I have this little gadget. So with this gadget is to improve my lung function make sure that I can get all of my oxygen into all of the little vessels in my lungs to make sure that I cover the entire thing and the whole point is to do it pre-op which I did with a physiotherapist and to see what your target your what your normal is and then to make that your target post-op um, and you have a little Brownie face and a happy face and a brownie face, so you know what level is best. Oh, and it's really hard, <laughs> but you've got to do that six times each hour, and it's a good way of being able to push yourself to make sure that you're meeting your goals for your lungs. Way of stopping a chest infection or pneumonia or whatever from your operation. So Coming home. I'm oh. home. So thank you for the messages and support. Uh, I've come home to some flowers and a couple of really lovely cards made by my kids and a friend. Um, it's been really lovely. And tonight I've had a really nice vegetable protein soup. And I had that in the hospital before I left. Um... Yeah, the, the, and uh, exchange details with the girls that was on the ward. So it was really nice, really lovely. Um, Pain-wise, I'm doing okay. I've got all sorts of weird gurgly noises and things like that going on. Um, but yeah, mostly recovery is doing really well. Um, so I had my operation on the 22nd. Uh, yesterday was the 23rd, today is the 24th. It, yeah, so I have had a couple of really long days, but not, um, I guess, long days because time doesn't move how it moves everywhere else when you're in hospital, does it? And um yeah i've i've done very little and then i felt that i've needed to to rest or 
started the same Netflix show that I downloaded time and time and time again, watch the nice pretty music to start and then wake up several episodes in.